Thanks. We'll join us on TVC News this hour. We begin in Abuja, where President Mohamed Buhari has addressed Nigerians for the last time as president. In his farewell speech, the president commended Nigerians for electing Bola Tinubu as president. He congratulated the president-elect on the realization of his dream propelled by a burning passion to put Nigeria among the leading nations of the world. We must, as a nation, improve and sustain gains we made in the electoral process on an increment for Nigeria to take its rightful place among nations. Our democracy provides for, allows, and encourages seeking redress for perceived injustices, enabling some candidates and political parties that do not agree with the results to go to court. Irrespective of the outcome of the various cases, I urge all parties involved to accept the decision of our courts to build a better Nigeria. To my brother, friend, and fellow worker in the political 10 years, as well as you, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, I congratulate you on the realization of your dream, which was fulfilled by a burning passion to put Nigeria among the leading nations of the world. You have indeed worked for this day, and God has crowned your efforts. I have no doubt that you are fashioned for excellence, reliance on confidence, fairness in relationship, commitment to equity, loyalty to the country, and desire for Nigeria to be globally relevant would come through for you under God's guardians as you lead our country to levels higher than I am leaving. You are the best candidate among all the contestants have chosen well. President Buhari also apologized to Nigerians for what he called temporary pains and suffering caused by some of the measures taken by his government. President Buhari said the Nigerian economy has become more resilient due to the various strategies put in place to ensure it remains afloat during cases of global economic downturns. Due to the various strategies put in place to ensure that our economy remain afloat during cases of global economic downturns. We made some difficult choices, most of which yielded the desired results. Some of the measures led to temporary pain and suffering for which I sincerely apologize to my fellow countrymen, but the measures were taken for the overall good of the country. Mindful of the need to ensure adequate infrastructure to drive economic growth, we completed age-long projects, notably among which are the Petroleum Industry Act, completion of some power projects, completion of Second Niger Bridge, and various important roads linking cities and states. Our battle to ensure that all Nigerians live in a safe and secure environment have achieved considerable results. As I complete my term in office, we have been able to the incidences of banditry, terrorism, armed robbery, and other criminal activities considerably. To sustain the gains made so far, I call on all Nigerians to be more vigilant and support the security agencies by ensuring that our values defined by the new brother's keeper govern our actions.